Shafiq, you don't act cute lah, Shafiq. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Pixel Studio. Now you know where the team of, from Pixel Studio and we shares with you our hobbies, food, expertise and anything uh, under the sun. The aim of this series is to share with you our lovely viewers some fun facts and interesting information so we can keep those brain cells working. So do stay till the end of the session for the fun quiz and participate along with the team here. So in this episode, we have Mr. Hafiz Goth who will present to you on the topic of concert band instruments. Okay, so uh, welcome everyone to my short presentation of typical instruments found in the concert band. While you might have seen during your school days, band kids practicing or playing words that you do not know, the instruments that they are also, uh, the instruments themselves are also found outside of the school and concert band world and featured prominently in a lot of classical works and film soundtracks, most notably. So let's get to know some of them. First, we have the uh, flute. In the typical concert band setting, it is an instrument that is pitched in the key of C, and its players are usually seen seated at the first row in the ensemble. Because it's a nimble and light instrument, the flute is capable of playing very fast and high passages to wow your socks off. Even though they can play very fast and very high, they can also be very warm, sweet, and romantic in slower passages. Uh, one notable work where the flute is prominently featured is Camille Saint-Saëns, Volier from the Carnival of Animals. Volier is the French word for aviary. Then the next one, we also have uh, the oboe, a double reed instrument that is pitched in C, also in C. Now, you might have noticed this new term, double reed, what is it? For some woodwind instruments, they use thin pieces of cane, we call a reed placed against a mouthpiece in order to create sound. Woodwind instruments like the clarinet and saxophone uses a single reed, just one while something like the oboe and bassoon uses two. Due to the unique sound of the oboe, it's almost always used in very emotional passages or it can also be used in a light-hearted and playful part of a piece. So a famous work that features the oboe is Tchaikovsky's Swan Lake. Okay. Then the next one is the clarinet. So if you notice that violins are quite plentiful in a symphony orchestra, so the clarinets fulfill that role of the violin in the concert band. So just like the flute, it is able to play fast passages and singing melodies but can also have a jazzy vibe when the situation calls for it. So what do I mean by that? Uh, one notable feature, sorry, one notable work where the clarinet can be heard is George Gershwin's Rhapsody in Blue, where the piece opens with a very, very, very famous clarinet solo. Okay, the next one we have for you is the saxophone. It was invented in the early 1840s by Belgian inventor Adolf Sax, hence the word saxophone. So since its inception, the saxophone has made its way into many genres of music that we know of today, most famously jazz. I think Indra can agree with that. Okay, uh, as a single reed instrument, like I said before, it is capable of playing lyrical lines just as well as the clarinet or flute or oboe even. But it can also deliver hard-hitting groovy notes, as in the case of jazz, swing or even contemporary pop. A famous orchestra work that features the saxophone solo, uh, the, that features saxophone solos, mind you, uh, is Bolero, composed by French composer Maurice Ravel. And in my opinion, and it's a joke among myself and like my non-saxophonist uh, friends, is that you are not a saxophonist until your friends ask you to play George Michael's Carlos Whisper. Of course, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you all know what Carlos Whisper, right? Yes, yes, I see very interesting. Okay, Shafika, you also. Shafik. Okay, then we move on from the woodwind instruments, we move on to the brass instruments. So like it like like the family name suggests brass is made, it's made of it's predominantly made of metal. Lah. Okay. So the first one we have is the most is the most famous one known to both inside and outside of the band and orchestra worlds, the trumpet. It has a colorful history from very olden times as an instrument in battles and wars often leading the whole army to charge to what it is used for today, making music. Regardless of what film score it is featured in, it's most commonly used in heroic sounding leading melodies. You might already know this, but the trumpet is prominently featured in soundtracks of notable film titles like Jurassic Park and Star Wars, both of which are featured, sorry, both of which are composed by legendary composer 
John Williams. John Williams. Yes, yeah. correct. See? He's supporter. A supporter. Okay. So that's the trumpet for you. Okay. Next one is we have the Noble French Horn. So this one is interesting because of its uh, circular shape. I think you you might notice that like uh, from, from the start. Lah. It has roots as a hunting horn in days of old but it gradually made its way into music scenes. With development over the centuries, the French horn it is what it is today. Uh, in film scores, it's mostly heard in both stately and regal settings, which it, with its w- distinct warm and buttery tone. But it can also be found in grand and heroic scores. So to, z- to this, the French horn is made to great use in American composer Bruce Broughton's work for the 1985 Wild Wild West film Silverado. Have you all heard of this film before? Yes. Then the next one I have for you is the trombone. So again, like the French horn, is also is quite unique among the brass instruments because unlike the others that uses valves to change their pitch, you notice that the trumpet and the French horn they all use valves to change the pitch, right? Uh, along with the lips, lah. When you when you, when you produce the sound with the lips, it uses a slide instead to change the uh, to change uh, to change the pitch of the note. Because oh, yeah. essentially, essentially, what you do when you press the the, the, the valve and things like that, right? You're lengthening the overall uh, length of the tube. So it reminds me of the whammy bar on the guitar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's there's no keys. It's only that thing. No, I just no realized that. Yeah. yeah. This one is a basic model. Um, um, more professional models they have uh, something like the French one where you where you have like uh, additional yeah. additional tubings to engage to reach uh, like a uh, certain lower notes or higher notes. Mm, in case uh. Where, where where the need calls for it lah. Mm. So because this uses uh the trombone uses a slide, right? There are seven positions that the slides can be found in to produce different notes. So uh let's see. Um so similar to the trumpet, it also rules in the heroic melodies department in orchestral works and film compositions. And the trombone is very prominently heard in the soundtracks of the Indiana Jones films, also composed by Get to take a guess. John Williams. Correct, John Williams. Piramli also use this, eh? Yeah. And to Japan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, um, okay. So the next one I have for you today is the euphonium. Have you all seen this before? Mm. No. Yes, Apika, because I think from Ben also, right? <laughs> so, so I should ask you, I should ask the other four. <laughs> euphonium. Yes. Looks okay. like a small tuba. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, euphonium, its very name is rooted in the Greek language euphonos, which means sweet voice. Uh, okay, so in some circles, it is also known as the tenor tuba. So in drum, the observation that it looks like a small tuba. Yeah. So yeah. So some people they know the euphonium as a tenor tuba, which is a higher pitched one, lah. Uh-huh. And uh, it is also known to be a brass instrument that can really sing. What do I mean by that? So it can. It's it it it. It's some some people believe or some people feel that the euphonium's uh, tone quality is quite uh, close to the male human voice, lah. So let's say when you do like operatic works or like very lyrical lyrical works, sorry. Um, it's, it, it achieves that effect lah. So for the euphonium, it is notably featured in Gustav Holst's work, The Planets. Next, we get to the foundation of the concert band or orchestra, which is the tuba. Okay, as the largest and lowest pitched instrument in the ensemble, it supports every other instrument in enhancing how the overall sound or piece turns out. Because as you know, right, you can't just have the melody. You need something below to to uh, uh, in the bass line to support everything to gel everything together and make it sound complete lah. However, that's not to say that the tuba plays the bass line all the time. Why do I say this? Because from time to time, it does get its moment to shine in playing bumbling and playful lines, like for comedic effect in in in, uh, in, in music pieces, and also to iconic solos, such as the 1975 film Jaws, whose soundtrack was also composed by John Williams. Ah, him again. Yeah. Oh, damn. damn. <laughs> that's a tuba. Yeah, yeah, it's a tuba. Serious, that? Wow. No, no, it's, you know, it's just. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That one, that's, that's a tuba. Oh, that's the one. Okay, oh. the last one I have for you today is, of course, the percussion. So, unlike the others, right, percussion instruments come in many different shapes and sizes, but they're all the same in the sense that you need to hit the instruments to produce sounds. Just like, just like the word, like percussive, you know, percussion. Yeah. So, you either hit it with your hands or hit it with sticks or things like that. Like. So while everyone else is the meat or melody in the overall pyramid of sound in a piece, right? The percussion is the heartbeat of the ensemble, keeping the beat going. So some in- examples of percussion instruments include tuned ones such as xylophone and timpani. Timpani is the one you see there, like the bottom left of the picture. You see that brown 
pot shape thing. Yeah, that's how, that's called a timpani. Uh, let's see what else. Do auxiliary ones such as your symbols and triangles. I'm sure you all know this one. You all learn this from in primary school uh, 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 music class. Yeah. Okay, so these are the references and then now we'll move on to the quiz time. Now you know season 3, episode 3. Okay, the first question is name the movement of the work mentioned in the presentation where the flute is featured. Uh, uh. You can give either the French name or the English name. Uh, I yeah. mentioned this earlier on. Oh, it has something to do with birds. Yes, 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 yes. Something to do with birds. Yes, yeah, he mentioned this. Coel, Coel. I, I almost got it right. <laughs> okay. What tweet? Tweet is obviously know. wrong. I cannot give you again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, vol. Yeah, that one is the answer, right? Volier. Yeah, uh, Volier. I, 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 I spelled said... wrongly. Can okay. I get a point? Hey, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Avery, Avery. Okay, you know what? Avery is la. fine. Carnival animals. Okay, la, fine. La. It's part of the, it's, it, this one is yeah. a movement. So, this yeah. one is the, the name of the entire work. What is it? it? It's blocking. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Okay, so we have uh, leading uh, Rayan, Indra, and Hana, Shafika, and Afika. Uh, all, all the Fika, come on. All the Fika, Fika. <laughs> come on. Let's do come it. on. Okay. The oboe produces sound using a what? I mentioned this, I explained this earlier on. What? Oh, so bamboo, so you can... Bamboo. <laughs> it's a bamboo. Then you sharpen it, can I? Thank you. Or your gala, your mother gala also can I? Right, your rotan. Technically, you can take a guitar body, you then you just like... That one also. Uh, any wood lah, right? Yeah, any wood. Yes. Okay. Uh, the answer, the, read, right? the hundred percent answer is double read, but I think I'll accept the the word read. Read lah, yeah, read can lah. Read. Yeah, remember what like I said because the oboe doesn't have a mouthpiece, so it requires the use of two reads. So we have Rayan, Indra, and Hana, Afika and Shaf. <laughs> Afika, come on, you're in bed, ne. Come on. It's been a long time. <laughs> come on, don't disappoint me. <laughs> you're in, in in the 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 same circle. Yes, exactly. Come on, make it happen. The clarinet is prominently featured in a notable work called Rhapsody in Blue. Who was its composer? Oh, gosh. Aren't you glad that this one oh, I didn't yes. put it open ended? Oh, oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. Ex- almost expecting open ended. I was like, I... oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I say, oh gosh. Then I say, okay, I know. I think if this one open ended, I think, I think you're like, like, I know lah. Yeah, the spelling already, like, how to spell it? Uh, <laughs> got it wrong. Okay. The composer <laughs> is George Gershwin. <laughs> Gustav Holst, um, he composed a different work. Gustav Holst. <laughs> Adolf Sax was the inventor of the saxophone. Which country did he hail from? Oh gosh, I know this one. Yes. I know this one. Um. <laughs> yes, <Jim. laughs> Okay, the way that Afrika is smiling, I think she got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> is it? What? Okay. <laughs> the answer is Adolf Sax is from Belgium. Belgium, Belgium. Yes. Who put Switzerland? Me. Okay. <laughs> Who want to, you want to go there, right? Really? I don't know. I don't know what's the answer. I just end the off. Belgium, Belgium. Yeah. Okay. Name one of the name one of the two film titles that was mentioned in the presentation where the trumpet was prominently featured oh. in their soundtracks. <laughs> trumpet. Name one of the two films, okay? Yes. Can Again, mention if, if answer both. <laughs> do, 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 do. That one is synthesized. That one cannot, ah. Huh? That one. Wow, Ryan. Oh, Nada. Bonus, bonus. Uh, not me, lah. Not me. <laughs> okay. Chop, chop, chop. You all got the. You all got the. I missed up, lah. Okay, okay, you all got the composer correct, but the wrong, the wrong, film. wrong movie. <laughs> wrong movie. <laughs> 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 Oh no! Come I'm on, Tika, Tika, Tika! Come on, come on, come on! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got this, you got this. Okay, so, Hana, as usual, I'm not surprised. You're the top. Okay. <laughs> A typical French horn is tuned in the key of what? This was mentioned. Oh, yeah. Sun, uh, I don't know. Uh, F flat. Oh. Yeah. F flat. 
Yeah, flat is E lah. <laughs> Zack, Zack flat. <laughs> A? Not sure. A ah. A. A. B flat lah. There's no B flat oh. here. Oh, what are you doing? I'll allow it. Why? Why? <laughs> I, I was joking about F. There really F. It's yeah. F. It's true. It was in the presentation. It's, it's either F, F or B flat. B flat ma. Yeah. Son, I asked. I know. I remember. I asked him. Yeah. Two right. Either B flat or, or B flat. Yeah. Yeah, typically F or B flat, but then there are some specialist horns that are found in different tuning notes, lah. But for the simplicity sake, a typical French horn is either in F or B flat. Yeah. <gasps> Africa, yes, you're back in the game. Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guess F, then you change to C. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's why I was. That's why I was sad. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought you got it correct. Eh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, wrong no. Okay, question seven. Stand savon. Name a unique characters. Characteristic of the trombone as compared to the other brass instruments. What sets it apart from the others? Again, I mentioned this earlier on. Oh, oh yeah, oh. the solo lah, is it? That's what I'm referring to. So far, the only one who got it is Hana. <laughs> yeah, slight change. Mahan, Mahan doesn't count me. The it's a long, it's unique one. Long and does not yeah. use valve. Then you don't use valve, might use the slider. Right? Okay, uh, <laughs> here's no. an interesting thing for you. There are some makers out there they produce a trombone using valves. Yes. As in like piston valves, lah, as in the trumpet. But, but I guess since you said that long and does not use valves, then uh, Rayan also gets the point. Lah. Thank you for pointing out. Okay, so we have Hana and Rayan in, the, uh, coming in second place. Not bad. Okay. The name Euphonium has roots in which language? I mentioned this. I thought this one need to type. But oh, you want it to be typed? Ah? Rian, wow. don't ask. <laughs> ah, Rian, don't ask. He give, just I was, take. I was gonna say like, wow, Hafiz, a lot of typing one. Like. But then he give MCQ. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay, okay, good, okay, very good. Okay. Meaning this one, everybody was paying attention. Ah, that was... Name, Name the, the film, film mentioned in the presentation in which the tuba had a famous solo in. Okay, just to remember that I asked whether you all have watched this film, this title. Oh, oh. oh that yeah. one huge yeah. clues, yeah. So <laughs> I almost got it wrong. Uh, <laughs> Ryan, what do you want to put? What do you want to put? No, I, I, I didn't know what to put other than Jaws. <laughs> yeah, it's Jaws. Uh. I mean, I, I mistook it. The wrong one. Can I disqualify Shafiq because he should be plural instead of singular? Yeah. Jaw one jaw, you know. Who say jaw? How to buy one one jaw? You need two, right? Yeah, like, like, like. Yeah, lah, give lah, give lah, Shafi, Shafi ka, give this Shafi ka, give Okay, last one. We'll see whether Hana ties with Rayan. Okay. Name one percussion instrument. Oh, okay. What am I? Dun 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 dun. The very basic one can right. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> In any event, I don't know. I only think of one. I make no promises. Also, the it's I all the all the things that you hit with, right? So hey. xylophone and triangle. Why wow, everybody go for xylophone? Ah? Why the phone? Ah, the Yes, ah. I put drums. Dun, 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 dun. Drums, yeah. ah. Actually, if you put yeah. drums, I've accepted it. Also, actually, yeah, the, the good thing about this question is that if you there's a lot of answers. I think you okay. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Trying your luck, I see. He oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So and not to no surprise, Hana once again is Whoa, a top. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Hafiz. With uh, maximum points. All right. Okay. Now you. So see. um, thank you everyone for participating in today's uh presentation. So I hope you all learn a thing or two, very basic things about uh the types of instruments that you find in your uh concert band or symphonic band or military band or whatever they call it yeah so if you are interested to find out like exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to these instruments and the, the pieces that they play or music you can go, go, uh, go uh, later you can uh, YouTube, YouTube it up and um, just do a search for, for these uh, film soundtracks then you'll know uh, what I'm talking about like. and uh, if you do that please enjoy the music uh, you're welcome <laughs> <laughs> Yes, okay, check out this channel for other interesting contents and uh, other training resources and information, useful information for you. 
remember to subscribe you ha- if you haven't uh, subscribed yet. So stay safe, everyone. Take care and bye-bye. See ya.